I'm not about to have my entire career destroyed because of this. Oh, but we can have our lives destroyed, right? I didn't say that. Let's us talk about what I liked about the film, a weekend to forget what I didn't like about it, my expectations, the performances, and even rate the film. What would be my ratings when it comes to this film? Let's do all of that in today's review. And in case you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. In case you're just hearing my voice in my channel, welcome, welcome. I really do hope you stay. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video and leave a comment. Have you seen a weekend to forget or you're going to be seeing it right after this review? Let's talk in the comment section. Okay, first things first, I think it's important to say that or to note that I did not see the trailer for this film. Amen to us not seeing trailers before watching the film. And this is something I've been doing for over a year now. Like I wish to say in my reviews, I used to do trailer reaction videos, but I just stopped because most times it doesn't help. <laughs> but I'm glad that I, although I saw snippets of the video of the film here and there on Instagram, but I kept swiping away. Like I didn't want the trailers to ruin the fun of the film for me. So, and I like that I stuck with that. So I didn't know what to expect. I didn't even know there was going to be a murder. I just knew the characters that were going to be, I just knew the cast members and that was that so when it came on amazon prime last weekend i decided to check it out so we'll be talking about it in this review when it comes to the synopsis a weekend to forget follows a group of seven friends who reunite for a weekend getaway after years of being apart however their reunion is not as smooth as they hoped it would be as old tensions and unresolved issues resurface things take a turn for the worse when one of the friends is found dead as they try to figure out who was responsible for the murder, trust is betrayed and friends turn into foes. So that basically just encapsulates what this film was all about. Not so, I don't know, I'm, I'm really torn between going into details in terms of this review and talking about some scene, thereby giving you some spoilers. But don't worry, I'm not going to tell you who got killed and who did the murder. I'm not even going to spoil it for you. You have to go check it out. You know, on Prime Video to see if you guessed right, to see for yourself. And in case you have seen the movie, let me know, did you suspect the actual murderer? Like, did you know that person was the murderer? I... For the life of me, I did not suspect that person. It was during the last act when the person made certain statements and then the person later reviewed their intentions and their actions. That was when I was like, hold on a second. I know this movie was really exciting because I don't think we've, we see a lot of modern mystery movies with Nollywood film. I mean, you, their modern mystery movies are very, very prominent in like Hollywood and like so was really interesting that you know nollywood actually tried giving us a modern mystery film and they pulled it off i didn't even suspect i i could not say okay this person did it or this person did not do it so let's go to the characters so when it came to expectations i had zero expectations like i already said so let's go to the characters and their performances we had daniel etin f young as shima in this film and he played the character of lyle's husband lyle's character was played by indima okoje and they were, they were both married, they are waiting. According to what our character, what was told about our character and what was portrayed, she's a very prayerful woman. She's a religious, godly young lady who loves God, does the work of God. And, you know, she's been actively trying to have a child and all of that stuff. So I think Dynamite Mephiong alone playing Shima, I think he did a fantastic job. I feel like Dynamite Mephiong is an A line actor. I usually don't have anything terrible to say about his acting in films or even anything bad. He just does well in my eyes. And I think it's not just in my eyes, he's just a very good actor. So he did great as Shima. Also, Lyos character, I think she did well. Nidima Okoje has a way of having so many layers in her character. Is that her character is, you know, waiting? I mean, she was one that acted in the wait, the woman that was waiting for Richard. So it's a similar character that we've seen her play. Her character seems to be going through one thing or the other every time we see her in a film and it wasn't different with this character that she played i i think she put off her character as Lyo well i mean she tried to speak yoruba here and there at some point it sounded really funny and at some point i feel like she did good i mean she spoke yoruba better than some yoruba children so i think her character was okay and she pulled it well we also had stan unze stan unze played the character of tito this 
nollywood big boy nollywood a-line actor who is getting an endorsement big deals you know is the face of different brands working with different brands and you know is at the peak of his career at the moment his, his character was placed alongside erica lewedim's character indali indali is the manager of tito as well as his fiance and you know we i feel like they had great chemistry they gave me this power couple at the same time erica's character gave me the character of this woman that you know she knows how to hold her fonts down she knows her plot she knows her, her contacts she's well connected she has she carried this kind of power and this kind of presence you know and she was able to convince me that she's a manager that is good at her job and knows how to put a client in the best rooms and in front of the best brand. So I think like I feel she did well. Although it felt like her character didn't really deliver her dialogues fast and snappy, like she wasn't reading. But I feel like her acting cover up for it, her facial expression, the way she delivered her lines in terms of you know how she was how she expressed her lines facially and in the moments and the situations and her emotions i feel like that made up for her dialogues yeah so i think and also stan Unze was able to pull off the character of an a-line actor someone who is enjoying his fame it's when he got to the point where the mother was committed his character had a lot to lose because you know a lot of things were um, a lot of things was at stake for him he just attained his fame him being associated with crime wasn't going to look good for his brand wasn't going to look good for his name so we also had um Elizanam's character he played the character of freddy this i just got back guy he's been abroad he just came back and it feels like oh it's great time for me to pull up my uni friends that's the other characters and let's have a great time in this apartment let's enjoy the pool great food great drinks great conversations and he also invited his friend his cousin character played by neil akpofuri his cousin bem and it was later on we found out that bem has had this history with the group you know he stemmed the bad boy he stemmed the troublemaker and all of those stuff so that really created another dynamic in the story and added more to the flavor of the story and it made it less predictable who else am i leaving out uh-huh of course uche montana i've seen uche montana in a valentine before valentine's but i really did not pay much attention to her, even though i liked her character i don't know if i reviewed it, i think i did and i i think i i had a lot of great things to say about her character so it was after that movie i started paying more attention to her in films even her youtube movies and all that so i was really excited to see her in this film and she played the character of lisa this rich man's kid you know he's bubbly she wants to be an influencer she wants to be on the gram posting videos going viral you know having crushes on it you know social media sensations and actors and whatnot you know the baby's just living her life free enjoying her father's money and also in a relationship with bam that's new apophoris character um and i think she did a good job i i don't when it comes to playing playing that kind of character uche montana thrives in it and she didn't struggle with this character as well so on to the things i liked about this film Oh, before I move on to the things I liked about this film, we have the character of Chief Ajasa, played by Akin Lewis. He also he played the character of Lisa's father, the rich man. Well, Akin Lewis' character was sort of deadly. Was it sort of? It was very deadly in this film. You know, killed people, threatened people, engraved fear into people, and all that. We didn't see much of his character in the film, but his character supposedly has a great had a great impact on the film or was supposed to have a great impact on the film but we'll talk about that when it comes to the things i didn't like about the film so all the things i liked about this film a weekend to forget i love that i could not predict who the murderer was it, i ju i just could not come up with it everybody was giving mother a lot a one or two persons had good intention they had an intention to they had a murder intention like they had a reason to kill the person that got killed so i was just like ah oh, could it be this person and i said i was just like could it be this person so i liked that you know we didn't have a lot of options as to who could have killed her but at the same time we just could not predict 
you know successfully who killed her. i don't know if you've seen the movie and you're able to predict who killed her who killed the person but i could not i could not even predict the murderer even when the murderer was revealed i was shocked i was i was like them but i wasn't absolutely shocked because i already kind of suspected we were the person with a dialogue the person made towards the end of the film but with the beginning of the film the middle and towards the third act i didn't even suspect the person one bit so i liked that it was suspense filled and I feel like that's the beauty of modern mystery films for you not to be able to decipher who has done you know this act was carried out this act but you know you just have different you know your signals are just going off here and there but you can't really say who did it so i really liked that that was successfully done and considering the fact that they were just nine actors it was interesting to see how they were successfully able to keep us guessing you know most times even hollywood modern mystery films there are a lot of people there in fact 10 to 15 people are involved and you know names keep coming up but i like that this this time around they stuck to eight people and you still could not even guess who did who carried out the act i also liked that there was we had good lighting and um, good lightning in this film you know sometimes because at some point in the film the power went off in the film according to the story so I, and most times i struggle with dark scenes especially for some nollywood film i know i understand that it's a dark scene so it's everywhere is supposedly dark but i can't even see the actor i can't see what they are doing and i supposedly doing something very vital to the film it just aches my head and i try to increase my brightness and i still cannot see anything i try to crawl under my bed and try to make sure that i can get the film <laughs> but i hate when that happens it's so frustrating so i really 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 appreciated the fact that during even during the dark scenes in this film we were able to still see what was going on with the help of the blue light the red light and it still added more to the mystery and it been murder and it been scary in a way because you don't know who's actually the bad guy amongst you guys so i really really appreciated that also the underwater scenes as well um there were times where some of the actors had to go under the water i was even shocked when i saw some scenes when the first time um one of the characters went underwater and i could we could get some angles from underneath the the pool i like i was very shocked, shocked and surprised that we got those angles and it was good well lit up sturdy movement i liked it and even when they were inside the water the kinds of the bubbles the water the flow and everything as you know as a swim and all that i feel like he added more charisma to that scene or he added more richness to that scene overall a testament to good sound effect i also like that the acting was good for the most part of it in the dimal koji danny met some f young stan unze even elizona usha montana of course the acting was good it was very believable it didn't feel forced although some people when it came to like new i mean going into the film i saw a lot of you know acknowledgement to news character in the film on twitter so i was just like oh i'm really looking forward to this because i've seen snippets here and there but i felt like at the beginning of the film neil's character didn't didn't start as strong as she as it should have especially in the scenes where he was communicating to lisa's father you know i get that i get that you're nervous when you meet your girlfriend's father but the nervousness i didn't really get it with him but as time went by in the film especially when it got to the point where someone died and he was angry with a knife and he stabbed you know stan Uzi. that scene was very shocking i didn't expect him to do it i was like yes your anger i can feel it yes you're delivering it well and all that so i think his character picked up at some point which and he maintained that wave even to the end so i think he had good good i think the movie had good acting although it felt like in, in a scene it felt like one of the characters were on standby to run into the scene and do something like the scene where um stanose's character was accusing ndali that's erica's character of being the mother and you know of course with the way she ran into the scene and attacked him it felt like i think it was a mistake of the cameraman or something like the camera was already waiting on her to run into the scene when stanose delivers his line well so i even had to feel back like i did i just see that happen it felt like she was already standing at the corner waiting for him to talk finish before she runs in but that still didn't take away much from the film but it was just something i noticed maybe because i was paying too much attention but if it was at the cinemas of course i wouldn't be able to like go back to be able to reaffirm what i had seen but yeah too bad i saw it on streaming platform and i had the advantage of going back so yeah but i mean the acting was good 
so even the wardrobe i love i love that the wardrobe was color for I me mean, was supposed to be a weekend thing party relax unwind the outfits were easy simple colorful screen party and all that now, onto the things i didn't like about this film actually the only thing i didn't like about this film would have to be just one thing and i didn't like the fact that you know chief ajasa's character was portrayed to us to be this very deadly man and it felt like you know his character was going to have a great impact on the aftermath of the murder that happened at freddy's house but it was very disappointing to see that we later then we were left we feel like we're left afloat we're left to just wonder what would happen if chief ajasa finds out that you know this 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 had happened and all that i don't know you know after the everybody involved that you know made a decision and they've done everything they needed to do i was expecting that okay would the chief ajasa go after the supposed killers look for his daughter and all of those things but we're already running out of time. It was already like nine minutes left in the film or something of that sort. In fact, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. So I was just like, oh, but why was he placed in the film with such storyline? What was his impact? Why was he even in the film? I don't know. If I don't know if anybody gets it. It's like if it was that uh, after the murder, then he started coming after them, it was deadly for people that you know that kind of thing. What was the relevance of his character to the story in its entirety? I didn't get it. And it was quite disappointing, but mm. Oh well and good. On to my ratings for the film. I'm rating the film a four over five. It would have been a four point five, but I just felt like that loophole that was there in terms of Chivas Ajasa's character to the overall film. I don't know. I mean, if maybe if they had explored it, it would have been them doing too much. But regardless, I just felt like that was a let down. So I'm rating the film a four over five what would you be rating the film if you've seen it let me know in the comments please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video it really helps and i would love to see my next review until then make sure to remain happy because you owe it to yourself bye guys